This woman will appear in court Monday, charged with what could be the first murder in Lebanon in almost a decade. The victim in this case died in an early morning fire on May 21st. RTV 6's Jack Reinhardt went to Lebanon today and has details. According to Lebanon police, the suspect, Tina Hoover, was brought in late yesterday afternoon for an interview. That's when they say she confessed to setting the fire. 42-year-old Tina Hoover remains held without bond in the Boone County Jail, charged with murder, arson, and three counts of arson with injury. 44-year-old Virgil David Dickerson died in the fire. His wife, Angela, was injured. The intentional fire, police say, was set in the front of the mobile home, trapping Dickerson inside. I just kept screaming. Where's David? Where's David? I just kept screaming his name as loud as I could, hoping he'd come towards the noise, and he never made it out. Lebanon police characterized murder in that community as a rare occurrence, even rarer that it was allegedly perpetrated by a woman. As a suspect, yes, it is, and, and having arson as a means. Is, is also something that, that's rare for us. Dickerson was a beloved figure in the neighborhood, generous with his time and his talent. Out of clear blue sky, one day he was at, we were sitting and talking, he says, you know, he said, I really love my dad. For a 44 year old man to say that, that, that that's great. I just want to let you know that he was that kind of guy. Tina Hoover, who is related to Dickerson's wife, Angela, will make her initial court appearance on Monday. In Lebanon, Jack Reinhardt, RTV6. Tina Hoover has a very limited criminal history. She has a prior misdemeanor theft conviction. Investigators are still working on a motive for the fire.